As many people enjoy photography with high performance cameras, more and more diverse and precise shooting techniques are drawing attention. They want to maintain value with their photos through the studio for portraits and products. Today, how to take studio photos? Studio photography can include portraits and product photography. There are areas to be observed in portrait photography, but product photography requires a variety of object expertise. Chapter 1. Number of Lights. Studio shooting takes place indoors, so at least one light is required. Normally, studio shots need three lights to remove shadows. Use two or more lights to reduce strong shadows and improve the quality of your photos. Insufficient lighting creates shadows on people or products, which requires a lot of editing and when there is a lot of work. It takes a lot of time and effort, and it is difficult to create a good quality photographic product. The camera shutter speed is 1 62nd to 1 125, and it is recommended not to exceed 1 125 seconds uses 50 to 100 mm lenses or 35, 50, 85 mm as prime lenses. Usually the camera mode is manual mode. There are so many things you need to know to improve the quality of your studio photo shots. 1. Front light. With light coming from the front, it is easy to become a flat image with no personality. Using the built-in flash attached to the camera results in lighting conditions that create unwanted shadows behind the subject. The uniform illumination on the screen is irradiated with the low images bright, light and shade of the floor is flat and lacks a three-dimensional effect, and the subject does not come out the shadows to create a strong tone. Two, side light. It is a powerful image light that emphasizes the three-dimensional effect with the light shining next to a person. A light source that produces masculine, intense images, also known as side light, illuminates the side of the subject, that is 90 degrees to the photographer and subject. Since the contrast of the face is clearly visible, it can create a three-dimensional effect, but there is a limit to the delicate expression. 3. Half of the subject stands out like a shadow and the other half belongs to the highlight. There is a strong shade on the bright side of the eyes and ears, and the sign may be brighter than the front of the face, and it is used when you want to express a strong dark and strong impression on the entire face. Streamer, Top Light This is the most used light for portraits taken in this studio. Create an inverted triangle on the cheek opposite the light to create a 3D effect of a person. About three halves of the face is bright and the rest is shaded so that it is illuminated smoothly and naturally using auxiliary light or reflectors. The effect of the mining method is not special, but it is widely used in portrait photography as lighting that gives a relaxing feel. Four, Bottom Lighting 
It is a technique often used to create very strong or surreal images. Five, semi backlight. You can create details by shining light from the back of the subject onto your face with a reflector. Pointing a glowing light source between the back and sides of the subject darkens the face, but gives it a calming feel. The shadow is strong and the 3 fourths backlight at around 45 degrees from behind the person reveals a three-dimensional effect, making it suitable for expressing a heavy and calm atmosphere. 6. Top Light In still life photography, it is often used as an accent light to highlight details in the hair. Seven, backlight. The light source behind the subject provides little light to the face, so it looks darker than the background. With rim lighting technology, the light source is the light behind and above the subject, and the outlines of the highlights appear on a dark background. Eight, catch light. By shining light on a person's eyes, you can express your face vividly. Chapter 2. Modifiable. Unlike outdoor shooting, studio shooting considers post-production correction. This is because color correction or inevitable shadows must be removed when emphasizing the appearance of the subject. Proper modification after product shooting is essential. Rembrandt Rembrandt lighting is a standard lighting technique that is used in studio portrait photography and cinematography. It can be achieved using one light and a reflector, or two lights, and is popular because it is capable of producing images that appear both natural and compelling with a minimum of equipment. It can be helpful to use reflectors. It can be helpful to know how to use reflectors and covers in studio shooting. Most reflectors and covers can be combined to provide multiple options of white, silver, gold, and black sides and diffusers. Chapter 3. Camera Type No matter how good the composition and lighting are, it can be a problem if the final product is of poor quality. That's why customers who request product photos are the first to ask about the camera model.
If you're taking portraits and product photos, it's a good idea to know at least the suitability of your equipment. This is because each camera has a quality limit. You need to first check the camera model where the picture was taken so that you can find a sample of the picture you want and create the artwork you want. It's easier to learn about photography and cameras if you can attend community college photography group classes or college classes. Today I introduced you to the most basic studio photography techniques. At next, I will explain window light photography in succession. I had explained how to practice as simple and easy as possible, but if you understand this, camera shooting seems not that difficult. In the next video, I will show you some more informative aspects of photography.